oh my goodness, I think you guys have something on your face. Oh, it could be the glare from the sun. It's so hot here, holy crap. 105, look at that, 105. It's so hot, I'm in California, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. We've been on the road for um, a couple of days. We left ye uh, yesterday morning early and stopped in Oregon to see my husband's dad and his wife Marcy. We had dinner, we kicked it. We actually sat in the living room and chatted and it was really nice. We were just, just chatting. And that's what we're about to go do now. We're gonna go to his friend's house and do the same thing. <laughs> so my husband grew up around here, Redding, Chico and Sacramento area, San Francisco. This whole area is like his stomping grounds. And his friend lives in Chico and his wife, they just got married and they have a lovely home with a pool, I believe which is gonna be nice. And we're gonna go hang out with them for a couple of nights. And then after that, we go to Sacramento because it is the Sacramento Tattoo Convention. And then we come here, this is our third year of coming to this, and we drive every time. So this is our third time driving down here. And um, we do five hours about at a time. Five hours, stop, five hours, stop. So it breaks it up and it's not too bad. I've been doing all the driving because I've realized that having something to do for me is good for just keeping my mind from talking myself into anxious things. And now that I've done EMDR for driving, I have like no problems driving. I had zero anxiety <laughs> the entire time through any of it. And I had my necklace and I, I said witchy cabin a couple of times. You guys know if you've been around here that Witchy Cabin is my safe place. And a couple of times I've had to say it through like, or I think through uh, Portland, I was like, Witchy Cabin, Witchy Cabin. You know, it just helps. But um, I barely even need that anymore. I was gonna start the video in Sacramento because I don't wanna film at his family's house and I don't I don't think they care. Marcy, you'll have to tell me if you would prefer to be on the videos or free. you don't care. I know you, you said before you don't care, but I just for privacy sake. And then I'm definitely not gonna film at his friend's house. I would never ask that. So I really felt like I was just gonna wait to start the vlog all together when we got to our hotel in Sacramento. But I think having a little bit of an explanation of we, where we are and what's going on might help kind of set the tone so I'm not just like, I'm in a hotel. <laughs> you guys knew a trip was coming up. I kind of tried to throw you off, not say exactly what week we were leaving, but this is the week we are gone. We go, we get home next week. And the pups are here. We drove my husband's car because it's, it's a newer, it's his car is a new car. Mine's older and uh, yeah, having to get some things done to it when we dropped it off. So we're just, we left it with them. <laughs> They're fixing something on the bottom of the car that was leaking. And while it's there, we are here in his car. And uh, the pups are so good. They travel so well now since they've done this three times. You guys are very good at this, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yeah, we're just gonna go hang out with his buddies tonight with his buddy and his wife and try to stay cool <laughs> because there's a heat wave. And the heat wave literally leaves when we leave. <laughs> it's like, it got here when we got here and it's gonna leave when we leave. Oh my God. Okay, husband's coming. I'll see you guys in Sacramento. The vacation has begun as far as Sacramento. And this is where I feel like I can start filming because I'm not in people's houses, respectfully. This is our room. I just wanted to show it to you before we destroy it with our luggage. So we have a king with a lovely headboard, table, coffee station with fridge. They've got the fish on for us, dresser, nice full length mirror, as you saw when we came in, there was the bathroom, lovely shower, lovely bathroom, all the amenities. Oh good, the dryer. I haven't been able to blow dry my hair. Closet, hang some stuff up, put some things away. And then I have not seen the view myself, so we're gonna explore the view together. Oh, wow. Look at the view of the palm trees. So we wanted to be near the park this time 
And if you guys saw my video, oh, there's the pool. If you saw my video, oh, there's the lounge. <laughs> Sorry, if you saw my video last year, I went to the Goodwill and it's just down this way and it's the best Goodwill I've ever been to. So I'm really excited to be able to go there again. But I walked by the Hyatt and I think I said in the video, Sienna, remember to book the Hyatt next time. I think if we come back here for next year, we might try the Hyatt or somewhere like that that has a pool because it had a pool. I love these little lounges. Lounge area to have drinks and food. And then right off the street, you go down the street and the convention center for the tattoo convention is just a couple blocks away. So this is definitely way easier than what we did last time where we were right downtown. There was nowhere to walk the dogs. This is great. It's got all this grass where we can take them and it's just so accessible and so easy. We're on the 10th floor. We're in the Hyatt. Look at the palm trees. I love it. And look at all these like old buildings. So I think that is the Capitol building, I believe. I should probably get them some water. Okay, I am going to get situated and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. We are headed to get some lunch. Good morning, by the way. And right behind the hotel is a lovely little coffee shop called Grace Coffee Roasters. And we're gonna head there for some sandwiches and such. And it's a beautiful day. My goodness, it's so pretty. And yeah, good times, downtown Sacramento. Pee on the tree, gotta get that palm tree. Vanilla latte sitch. There it is. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. He was. Look at his stuff. Like, really nice. Like, look at that. We're here for three nights, so we're actually using the dresser, which I love to unpack. Does anybody else do that? So, like, my husband has the left side. It's all my husband's stuff. And then I have the right. The stuff that's in there are the things that are clean. And since we're on the road for a little over seven days, your dirty clothes starts to mix in with your clean clothes. And you really want to know like which thing is got road on it. <laughs> you know, like when you're traveling, you stop at rest stops. And I just, I've showered every single day since we've been on this trip, just because something about traveling and stopping at gas stations and rest stops and all that, and then the heat on top of it, just makes you feel so filthy. Uh, but anyway, we just had lunch. It was so good. Oh my God. It was so good. That salad, it was like a cob, cob, cob salad, apple, and it had goat or a blue cheese and lettuce and fresh tomato. It was so fresh. And it was just, I don't know why it was the best salad I've had in a really long time. It was so delicious. Lila's getting tattooed. So his appointment is at one. He's imagining it's gonna be like a two hour tattoo. He did get tattooed last night. He just got a little filler and it was a friend of his that he grew up with who was doing it. I think the um, couple that are joining us might go to the convention and get tattooed. The gal who we uh, were staying with, she has a tattoo shop. So if you guys are ever in Chico, for any reason, if anybody's ever in Chico, go to Golden Hour Tattoo if you can. There's three tattoo artists. It's an all female tattoo shop and get tattooed by some cool chicks. Any of them will do great. All three of them are great. And she has the coolest stickers. So, yeah. Well, I've literally been sitting on the bed, just working. <laughs> Goes on vacation, spends the entire time in the hotel work. No, I'm just kidding. I've been, I've been doing things. But for me, it's really nice to just sit on my computer for a few hours and just do my thing. 
I just edited a reel and posted all my socials. I got re-inspired for Instagram, you guys. I, I Everybody's talking about how dead it is and how it's lose. No one's gonna be on it anymore soon and it's dead, blah, blah, blah. I'm feeling that that's fine. Anybody who's over it and feels that it's dying, which was me even just like yesterday. <laughs> Anybody who feels that way can take that big much needed break. And I have a feeling that what will happen is that those of us who are just still wanting to really focus on like cool photography, cool outfits, sharing like makeup and things and like we'll still be there. And that's, that's where I need to just reawaken inspiration and I'm so inspired by these palm trees and these buildings in Sacramento that I'm like this is what I want to do I just want to find cool places with cool buildings and architecture and just mixing like style and fashion with um, landscapes and things that I'm seeing and getting inspired just by life and looking and observing life and so when I'm out and about observing said life, then I will take photos of it and share it on Instagram. And that's what it really should be all about. Whether it's video or photo, I don't care. I don't care if it's video format or photo format. I like both. I think there's room for both as long as it's artistic. <laughs> so that's where I'm going to be if you're looking for me on Instagram. I, I have I've found myself again, I think, on Instagram. And really it was from just searching for people on Instagram that are doing that. And I found a few people that just really inspired me and are doing that. I'm sure for them, they, you know, had a page that was really popular at one point at the peak, which I felt like was like right before COVID, during COVID. That's when everybody was home, <laughs> social distancing and just needing somewhere to be and socialize. And now we're all getting back to life. So if it slows down, that's okay. We can be okay with that, but don't lose sight of what excites us about it, which I think is sharing really cool things. Like I love seeing people just taking cool pictures and doing, um, you know, awesome things out on their travels or even if they're not traveling, if they're at home and cool things about where they live and the city they live in. Like, let's all share that. Let's all see cool things about where each other lives and what we're doing in our lives and get back to just embracing those things. I know I sound like I'm on quite the pedestal here, but I think I have found the secret to loving Instagram again. And I think that's what it is. And it's truly just making it fun again, making it a good time. And for me, fun is when I'm like, that is such a cool photo. I can't wait to show it. And I don't give a shit. Who many people how many people like it or not because the algorithm is failing me or any of this crap i'm just gonna have fun i love it when i get in these like epiphany moments <laughs> just <laughs> go off on a tangent by the way my husband did say that um emotional support animals are allowed at the convention center which means my dogs are allowed to go with me to the convention center but the thing is is that I don't know where he at, like if he, I don't wanna pay to go in if he's about to be done. You know what I mean? It's like 30 or $40 a ticket. And we just found this out. So it's the day's already over. And now I'm thinking, shit, like, should I go? But do I wanna pay 30 bucks to just walk in and walk back out? Which is likely what will happen. And also that's a lot of people walking around. And I don't know if I wanna put my dogs through that. So I'm just gonna take them for a little walkie poo by myself. And then I think we're just gonna go sit down in the, uh, well, there's a lot of people out and about now. Even the cabanas are completely full. But I'm gonna take them for a, and then uh, we'll see what happens. I do wanna go back to the rose gardens and get better footage, that's for sure.
from the Rose Garden. So we just went down to the pool to meet our friends that came that we visited earlier. This is that who, wait, I'm gonna say who, what, where because that's the brand I know. It is We Wore What from the Saks Fifth Avenue clearance sale. And I've been looking for a special reason to wear it because it's 100% linen. It's so cozy, it's perfect for hot weather like today. And then I have this little uh, black pleated skirt I got thrifting. I do have on some shorts underneath. And then I have on my little straw hat. And I decided to wear sneakers instead of the planned black strappy sandals that I had on earlier because we're uh, doing a decent walk to the restaurant, which is one of the people in our group is gluten-free and there's an amazing gluten-free restaurant just on the other side of the Capitol Park. So we're just gonna stroll through there to get to it and uh, yeah, taking the dogs and um, gonna go have some den. Another beautiful morning in Sacramento. There's our hotel right there. So close. Breakfast. Avocado toast. Looks delish. Dogs are eating their breakfast after a morning walk. Some coffee iced latte. And then I'm going thrifting. Oh, I haven't shown your tattoos. Can I show your tattoos? So here's one little skin ripper. Thorns. Go clean. That's real nice. And your friend, uh, what's his name? Chris Ostralago. Lovely. And then you got your arm blast over. That's from yesterday. Wow. So everything underneath it is now <clears throat> background to that. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's really cool. Dan Fry. Dan Fry. Uh, Dark Horse Tattoo, Los Angeles. Nice. You've heard it here that if you hate your tattoos from 2002, yeah. just get a blast over. It's not really hate. It's yeah. You've outgrown them and you don't like looking at them anymore. There you go. Yeah. Because the original tattoo was actually technically tattooed very well. Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't do that to any of mine right now, but maybe in like. Never know. 15 years, I'm like, eh. but I don't know if I'll want to get tattooed in 15. Who knows? You never know. You never know. You never know. Okay, I am ready to go thrift my balls off. My dog is barking. I have shoes on. He doesn't like it. Anyway, I'll show you later. I am, um, I just, I can't go over there because the door's open and he's in the shower and it's got a glass window thing so you'll see them um but yeah it's that nicole miller like kind of it's almost like a vacation poolside matching set like it was in the bathing suit section so i felt like it was for going on a cruise something like that it's like really lightweight and soft like linen would be but it's not linen it's so soft i think it's cute and it's getting kind of warm out and then later when we go to dinner, I'm hoping that I find something while thrifting that is cute, that maybe seems clean, because that's weird, but maybe it's got tags still on or something and uh, I could wear it to dinner. Or I did bring a dress as a backup plan, but I, I was hoping I can find something new to wear because that's just so exciting is finding things on your adventures and then getting to wear on your trip. Because it'll always remind you of the lovely times you had, right? All right, let's get going. I'm so excited. We're going for thing. Head into the Goodwill. So excited. <laughs> so from the hotel to the Goodwill, it's a seven minute walk, which is not bad. And it takes you along the park with the gardens.
successful thrift down. I got some cute stuff. I'm so stoked to show you guys. Oh my gosh. Not anything I was expecting either. I'm actually surprised. All right, let's do this. I'm so excited about one of these things that I'm just gonna show it to you first because it's one of those things where you look at it and you're like, no, that's ridiculous, I don't need that. And then something else, another voice says, get it, get it, it's ridiculous, get it. <laughs> that was the winner this time. <laughs> I got a shisho. It's a shisho statue. It's a shishu statue. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. I mean, how could I not get it? Look at how adorable it is. It could also be a Lhasa Apso, but we're just gonna say that this is a Shih Tzu because my dogs could look like this if we let their hair go long and all of that, but because we live in a climate that is very rainy and wet, trying it just always seems to turn into a sloppy fail. So I can live vicariously through my Shishu statue. <laughs> It was $15.99 or whatever. Yeah, $15.99. There was a sticker on the back that says $25, and then one in the front that said $15. And I told the lady, if you guys can give it to me for the price in the front, I'll take it. And sure enough, they did. So I got this for $15. I feel like that's a little pricey, obviously, for thrifting at the Goodwill, but it's it's so good. This, I, just, I'm, I had to get it. I was thinking I was going to call this my manifestation mug because I have a lot that I'm trying to manifest in my life at the moment and I think having a mug that says get after it is perfect for me currently in my life. It was $3.99 and it's from Hearth and Hand and then I haven't actually bought records in a really really long time. I do have a record player. I do have a collection of records. I just don't do it as much as I wish I did. I feel like I need to start putting records on when I'm getting ready. Maybe that will be more of a vibe than listening to terrible true crime stories while I'm doing my makeup. But you you guys, people are coming for Dolly right now. And you can't you can't come for Dolly. <laughs> anyway, I just I loved the look of this record. And look how glam in her little pink outfit. I just loved it. And it says, dance with Dolly. Baby, I'm burning. I want to fall in love. It's hot pink. I thought I had to have it. Is it just one song? Yeah. Whatever. It's like maybe a limited edition Dolly record. Oh, I got that one. And then I also just wanted this one because it looked like a party and it looked fun. And I love these kind of old dance records. Look at the cool record. This was one of the things I tried on there and it is a pair of Levi's jean shorts. I actually want to cut them a little bit shorter. These are too like, I just feel like they're a little bit too long like to the knee on me, but I think they'd be nice a little bit shorter. Um, so I'm going to give them a little cut. And then I have some amazing Levi jean shorts that fit me really, really well and are really comfortable. This I tried on as well. It was a little hot in there, so this was unbearable. So I almost didn't get it purely because of that. Like I was like, it's too hot to even have on tight clothes and long sleeve. But it is actually something I do see myself wearing quite a bit in the autumn and winter seasons. And it's just... I would, rem I would think about it. I know that under dresses, think how cute this would look, layered under dresses when it's a little cooler out. And right now, where we live, it's still like 70 degrees. So technically I could probably still wear this under summer dresses until we actually start to warm up in the Pacific Northwest. But here it's like, there's no way I would wear this right now. But I love the florals as you guys know i love me some florals i love lace i love the white uh yeah it's just it's it ticks everything off of the box and i just think will look great 
layered. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I tried so many clothing pieces on, but just the problem I was having was that they were Shein. And the irony is that a few of the outfits that I brought for this trip were Shein that were brand new. I have a hard time buying thrift Shein because the pricing at the thrift stores is still how they're pricing things right now, which I feel like is a little bit over what I would pay. And Shein is so cheap that I know that they wouldn't cost that much even on Shein. So there was like a green dress that I loved. It was really cute. Put it here. Loved it. Super adorable. I actually, I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to get this dress. Thinking, you know, what, nine bucks for whatever off brand it is. Who knows? And then I looked at the tag and it said Shein on it. Shein on it. And I was like, no, I'm not paying the prices that they're asking for this type, this material, this brand. So this I loved so much. It almost looks kind of 80s. It has the gingham on the inside in the blue jean, which I think is really cute. And it's a cropped style. I love the gingham detail here. It even has gingham buttons. I actually though, I'll be honest, I'm going to take the buttons off and switch them. So when I get back, uh, I'm going to see what buttons I have or if I have to go look for buttons. So I'm going to upcycle this just a little bit and replace the buttons just because I think it's overkill for me with the gingham. And plus there's one missing anyway. So at this point it's like, well, if it's missing, I'm just going to go ahead and replace all of them. I really like it. I think I'll wear this a lot and I can wear this now over summer dresses. I can wear this tonight here because at night it actually does get a little bit chilly. So at least I'll have something to like toss on because last night we were sitting outside by the fireplace. We stayed up until like 11 and we sat out by the fires, had drinks and just caught up and chatted and just had some more quality time. The dogs were asleep behind us. The hotel brought them a pup cup. So I'll have to insert that footage here. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. It was the cutest thing. Both their tongues were like trying to fish. They were like in competition with each other, trying to fish the, <laughs> the, the pup cup whip, whatever. I did taste it to see if it was sweet and it was just a tiny bit sweet, but it's okay. I think they could have like a few um, licks of the whipped cream, whatever that was, but yeah, they were in heaven. Okay, here's the last thing. And this was a wild card. This is something I grabbed on the way out because I thought it was really cute. I love the color and I was really just, I had my, my mind set on getting something new with tags that I could wear tonight to dinner for our dinner date. And so this might be it, but I see this fitting me because of the shape of it. So hope, I hope it does. I think I can return things though. But yeah, it's really cute. I love the color. It's this sage green, really beautiful, ruffled. And then it still has the tags and it's not Shein. It's called Corundo. Our aim is creating good products with heart serving customers with more patience. Anyway, it seems like a nicer fabric. It has, it looks like a little clasp in the back. So I'm gonna go try this on right now and see how this fits. And uh, yeah, that's what I got at the thrift store. Bad news. The only thing I didn't take into consideration is my boobs. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about that, how this up here needs to be like down here. So if you were small, your boobs would be up here and that would fit properly. So this doesn't fit me. Darn it. We're on our evening dog stroll before dinner and we're deciding where to go because Brasserie was reservation only. Why didn't I think of this? Let's see that tatter. There's that blast over. Tat number three. This one. I usually one. do three every every time I come down. Usually they're all little, like <laughs> this size. The half sleeve kind of put me over the edge. <laughs> yeah, he's worn out. <laughs> I'm a wee bit tuckered. I've been just relaxing in the uh, hotel, but I'm just hungry. I'm hangry.
can we just talk about <laughs> how the Hyatt has saved the day? <laughs> that looks really good. <laughs> is it good? Look at these. Oh my God, this is the best sandwich I've ever had. Is it really? Let take a bite of this. Okay. <laughs> just for context. <laughs> We tried growing to our favorite place and it wasn't good. I don't know what it was. I don't want to bad mouth a business because I love that place. It just wasn't what we what we remember. So we're all bummed out. We'll just come here to the steakhouse. Closed. I felt like everywhere we turned it was just a fail. And we just ordered food from the Hyatt downstairs for the room service. And <laughs> it's totally redeemed. A nightmare. I got the mac and cheese. And then just because we went through such a nightmare, we got desserts for ourselves. And this is a carrot cake with like a carrot shaved on top. That looks so, I've never seen a carrot cake that looks so good in my life. German chocolate cake. Saved! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go eat. So hungry. Ah, here we are, early morning. And it's our last Sacramento Park walk. Very, very sad. <sighs> it went so fast. We're gonna get some coffee and then we're hitting the road. Well, we are saying goodbye to Sacramento Hotel and Adventure. <sighs> and we're moving on. We are gonna be driving to Reading to stop by and see a friend who is a tattoo artist there in Reading. And um, yeah, we're just gonna say hey. Why am I out of breath though? Cause I've been packing. <laughs> I'm like, why am I out of breath? It's hot. It's gonna be 95 here today and 104 in Reading. So we're back to the insane heat. Not looking forward to that, but it'll be brief. Cause then we go back to Oregon. Oregon I think is gonna be like 90s, which isn't too bad, but we're going to Grants Pass. And our hotel there is supposed to be magical. And I think it's gonna be such a relaxing, beautiful way to close out this trip. But Lyle just went to go get the car. Sorry if I'm really breathy. We just got up and went and got coffee and we argued over the pathway in the lobby. <laughs> we got into a little tiff. Not like a, we don't like, it's not like a, you know, like one of those. It's just him saying, you know, you're supposed to walk behind these like line things. And I was like, whatever, I'm gonna do what I want and like walked wherever I wanted. And he's like, no, the guy said he wants us behind these lines. And I was like, well, I'm already heading to Starbucks. And he was like, oh, why are you being like this? <laughs> it was just a whole thing. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny because you could tell we've been on the road together for seven days. <laughs> we're just like out together, spending every day together. And we're fine now, we hugged it out. So everything's fine. But I just thought that was a relatable thing because I don't ever want to paint a picture like everything is always perfect. But I think even after 13 years, we're still learning how to like, it, when we're both heated, we know that there's no point in even trying to like continue arguing or, or having this disagreement because both of us want to be right at that moment because we're both speaking from where our, um, our views are. And so then we both have to like, process for a second and be quiet and then I explain myself and he explains himself and we're like okay and then I'm like well this is what I need and he's like okay and I'm like well and I'll do this if this is better for you and he's like that is great thank you and we're like okay <laughs> it's so stupid <laughs> so stupid here is the outfit this is that uh Shein outfit these are honestly I bought just all these active wear outfits to wear in the car. But yeah, we're gonna go, we're leaving. You ready pups? Bye Sacramento, it's been real. Dang, your dash is hot. We have arrived, we're in our room and here is the view. Check out that magical, glorious, relaxing sound. Ugh, this is just heavenly, isn't it? I can listen to this all day. And then apparently across that little bridge is a little town with restaurants and things to do. So we 
I don't have a lot of time here to do a whole heck of a lot of exploring, but good to know that this is here. Right on the river. But yeah, room tour while my husband's in the shower. We've got a lovely bed. Looks pretty cozy. Cozy enough. Oh no, I let bugs in. Oh no. <laughs> we might need to get some bug spray. Oh look, they even provide you with a flashlight. It must get dark here at night. Got a little AC here in the corner. Room and a mirror. The Riverside Inn, and it is very pet friendly. We've seen a bunch of dogs already. Right? Right? I think it's cool. It'll be nice. We're contemplating just doing like pizza, just keeping it pretty, you know, simple. But I do want to look up what foods in the area. All right, so we have checked in to the hotel and got settled. The dogs have had their food and now we are getting our food and we have come to this place called Wild River Brewing, I believe is what it's called. I hate having to show you anything through our window that is filthy full of dead bugs, but this is the, uh, the place and they do wood fired pizza. And so that was what we were in the mood for. And our plan is to go back, put on a movie and open the windows and listen to the river and just relax. And then they have free breakfast at the hotel. So I'm actually excited for getting up a little early and walking over and getting breakfast. But it's a cute little area, Grants Pass. It has like mountains, you know? You see the range back there with the sun setting? All right, well that's it for now. I'll show you the pizza. <laughs> Let's see how good Stay Wild, Wild River Brewing. Ooh, oh, that looks really good. Too bad we don't have plates. <laughs> they might have some plates or we'll just eat straight out of that. <laughs> the tiniest piece of pizza. So this is the weirdest thing. Like they cut it in the wildest way. So you just get these shards. It's like broken glass. <laughs> Maybe that's what's wild about Wild River but it's really good and there's bread with whipped butter it's delicious here's the cute little hotel at sunset lots of dog people here little pool over here Good morning from the Riverside Inn. We have got a calmer river than yesterday. So pretty. So pretty. I'm walking the pups. Oh, we got a poop. Hang on. breakfast and some charmed they even had yogurt bowls and the waffle maker was really cool you like pour it in and it screams at you until you turn it and then it screams at you when it's ready and then you flip it and it's it's the most perfect waffle you ever did see okay I am ready I'm literally wearing just what is left in the luggage that isn't completely destroyed with sweat and travel freshest thing i have and it's a little it's what i would normally wear to pilates because i was thinking well maybe i'll go to pilates while i'm out there didn't going thrifting there's a thrift store down the street and this is my last hoorah this is my last attempt at thrifting in both oregon and california on this trip i wanted to get one thrift store in in each state so this place is down the street and what is it called i forget 
it is called Gospel Rescue Missions Second Chance Thrift Store and it looks pretty cool. It looks like a Goodwill or you know like your average like pretty big thrift store that gets uh, donated furniture and all sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna go and hit it up and see and then we're gonna pack up and get out of here. I have to stop by my stepmother-in-law's for a statue that she's giving me on the way back. We didn't want to travel with it because I was afraid it was gonna break. So they're luckily their place is just along the way back. So we're gonna stop and see them again because we stayed with them on the way down and just pop in and say hey. So we're gonna do that, grab my statue, and then we're heading home. Cute little downtown area. We have made it home. Oh my gosh, what a trip. That was a whirlwind. I got like sunburnt on the car ride. I can feel it burning. And I also got rash, like heat rash on my chest from driving through like Redding in California and like that whole area where it got really hot. I didn't realize that like it was burning me. <laughs> it's so messed up how hot it is there. And then we instantly get home and it's cold. Like I need to go put on sweats and socks and warm up because it's like 67 degrees outside right now, which in comparison now is like cold to me. Um, but yeah, we're home, we made it. There's actually some things I got thrifting that I want to share with you guys. I'm gonna just vlog a little bit more tomorrow, I guess, and then f officially close this out because this is a lot of vloggy material and I have a feeling it's just gonna make this video very, very long. Oh God, I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope you watch it and enjoy it and have fun coming on our adventure because these are the types of things that I really like to document. It's just good for me to have, but I just, you know, like sharing it with anybody who's interested in watching and also who just enjoys thrifting and also road trips with dogs. <laughs> but as you can see, a little sneak peek of something behind, Ooh, don't look, I'm gonna have to show it to you tomorrow. I have a few amazing things that I got uh, thrifting today. I feel beat. So I will see you guys tomorrow while we close this out with my thrifty haul from today. And then we're all done with this amazing vlog of good times. Hello and welcome home to me. There's nothing like a trip away that makes you love your bed and your house getting back into it, you know? So I'm gonna show you what I got at the thrift store and a few final things that I got while on my thrifty travels. And um, then we're gonna close this out, I promise. So what I saw at that antique store, looking back at me literally, <laughs> was this. And I had to get it because I have another one of these. I have a vintage Lucy Vitamita Vegemin ad that I want to hang up but I think I'm still waiting to figure out like how I want to decorate this room so this needs to be overhauled. As you can see the lights are finally put in so we now have the appropriate type of lighting. My husband needs to help me rehang all of my clothing rack so that needs to all get done. I'm gonna redo that entire room. I think I want to make make a Lucy kind of section. So this is gonna be something I'm gonna probably either, well, but it would look really good over here actually. Cause the other one, th the colors don't really match this room. So this one though, black and white does. And it says the secret to staying young is to live honestly, eat slowly and lie about your age. And I love, I love that quote by Lucille Ball. That was an antique store and I went into a couple others, but then there was also a thrift store. And that one was one of those types of thrift stores where you just know you're gonna find a lot of old vintage things. And I couldn't believe, I'll have to put it up here, there is an old like 1940s television set that I honestly would have loved to have bought. 
I didn't need it, but if you're anywhere near Grants Pass or if you're in the market for a 1940s television set, that thing was in like pristine condition. All the buttons and knobs seemed to work fine. It was like actually really great. Oh, and that old, there was an old exercise bike. That thing was so vintage and cool looking. Another thing I wish that I could have got. If, if I had a big truck and that was my job and all I did was drive around looking for amazing old pieces like that, I would be in absolute heaven because that is truly where the good vintage is. The good vintage is hiding away in these little mom and pop old and like antique stores and thrift shops that are just planted in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? And that's where you're really going to find stuff that's not picked through. And that's how I think a lot of resellers end up going on these little trips and stuff because they're they're having to go outside of their own town to find the goods. And it's just an endless amount of stuff that gets dropped off there, you know, because a lot of people are, are moving or a lot of people, unfortunately, are probably passing away and their family is just unloading it. So they donate it to these little church thrift stores. And I think those are just the places to find the best old stuff. So I found two vintage books. Look at these. They're so old. There was a lot of really cool looking books. Some of them they had known that they were worth a little bit more and had priced them up to $10 per book. But I got the ones that were $2.50. One's called A Street Lamp and the Stars. And I just loved the look of it and just how old. I just love books like this, you know, that just seem like they've they've been around for a hot minute. When was this published? I don't know why I love old books so much. 1963. Yeah, this guy. And then this one, Without Orders. This one is a lot older, you can tell. Oh my gosh, look at the pages. The pages are like these raw edge old pages. I shall pass through this world but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do or any kindness that I can show to any human being, let me do it now. Let me not defer or neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. 1943. Really love reading books like this. Ugh, I just, I'm going to give it a read. I don't know. I have no idea what this is about. I have no idea. I might actually have to Google it. It's a book by Martha, Martha Albrand, but... I honestly regret not buying more. There was there was actually quite a few books there that looked really great. Dang it. And then I wanted an upcycle project. I felt like if I was going to go on this trip and I was going to go thrifting, I really tried to keep my eyes peeled for an upcycling project that would be fun for me to do. I found this. <laughs> and this thing. So it's just collar. It's got a collar. It's long sleeved does have some buttons on the sleeve as well um, nice little pleating back to it it's really long like really really long does it have pockets yes yes she has pockets so I think this would be a fun one to give a little upcycle to so we'll uh, have a project to do together in the near future those are always so fun and then you guys also know that I love myself a vintage nightgown if I find them I will buy them 10 bucks man even at that thrift store I thought that was a little pricey but it's so pretty it's just you know that like beautiful little delicate sleeving and lace around it looks like it's got a good shape to it very very beautiful it's actually kind of almost like a mint green it's not white um this is not thrift stuff but it's something that i definitely wanted to show you guys marcy my stepmother-in-law has been telling me for gosh it was like thanksgiving i think we were last at her house that she said i could take this with me because i commented on it and it's this beautiful statue that she has it's very very heavy so i'm gonna try to lift it and show it to you it's huge too very big um this is in the guest room and every time we go in there i just like admire it and love it so much they have this like puffed sleeve edwardian kind of um outfit on it's a it's a looks like a mother and a little girl and it's just so it's so beautiful. I love it so much. And every time I've seen it, I'm like, gosh, I love that thing. And she finally was like, you know what? I want you to have that. And I'm like, no way. There's no way I could take that. She just, you know, thought it was time for it to find a new home and somebody that's just going to treasure it. And I have a spot and I'll show it to you that I have been wanting a statue for ever since I redid this whole room. I've been thinking I wanted a statue 
for this very specific cubby spot and this is going to be the perfect thing to put there so I'm so glad that I now have oh but you got to be careful with her because she is she's quite old the artist is Alice Heath Alice Heath so I'll google that and then she also gave me she gave me a vintage hat too. She just has like all this fun stuff and whenever she thinks about it, she's like, oh, I want you to have this, which Mercy, I know you watch my videos and I just wanted to say thank you. Like, you know I love old stuff and that I truly treasure them. And um, this is definitely going to be treasured here. <laughs> Look at this hat. Look at this hat. I mean, I really feel like I need to go to the Derby. Like, how can I? find myself the right occasion to wear like it's so <laughs> it's so awesome so this hat definitely needs a fun display 100% wool bullman hat company but anyway that is it I can't believe it that was such a long um video thank you so much if you've made it all the way through <laughs> thank you so much I appreciate it I hope you enjoyed our little vacation trip vlog and thrift adventure through Oregon and California. We had a great time and um, yeah, I have to g kind of get my bearings and figure out like what's going to be happening coming up the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. Thank you again. Please subscribe if you're not and I will see you on the next video. Oh, and give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be home.